In this video, you will get the access to challenge and chess exercises and my real-time thinking process. The best way to benefit from this training is to try to solve all the puzzles yourself. Whenever you see this sign, put the video on pause, take your time, calculate, and press play once you think you've got the solution. Train your visualization following the variations I'm talking about and check if your solution was correct. I'm International Master Andrei Ostrovsky and your improvement starts right now. What is going on here? We are looking at this position from White's perspective. So our pawns going upwards. And our opponent wants to play c1 queen. So if you play something like d7, he plays c1 queen. If you play d8 queen, he most likely just takes on c6 and uh, it will be just a theoretic draw. So what can we do instead? If we play something like knight to f3 check here, uh, it just takes on d6 and takes our pawn c6 after that. So it's also a draw, I guess. Same is after knight g6. So I think d7 is uh, literally forced here. Unless we have something after c7, but if we play c7, he plays c1 and, well, stops our pawn c7. Yeah, I think if we want to achieve anything, we should try d7. But what to do after c1 queen? Probably we have some checks. So let's say d7. I guess we can do d7 move because I can't see anything better than d7 anyway. All right. Yeah, so make, let's make this move and here we stop. <clears throat> so now if we play d8 queen, queen takes c6. I don't think we have anything there. Uh, so let's start with something um, like knight g6 or knight to f3. Let's say knight to f3. Check. If king goes to the d file, we have d8 queen check. And he can't take on c6 because in that case we play queen c8 check and take the queen on c1. So after knight f3, I think he has to go away f to maybe f4, maybe e4 maybe e6 maybe f5 but not to the d file not to d5 or d6 so what happens there after knight f3 and king to f5 for example we can simply play d8 queen and he can't take on c6 because of knight d4 fork he plays knight to e6 it is actually the same so after knight f3 feels like f5 e6 d5 d6 d4 are now possible to occupy and uh, only two squares are um, f4 and e4 so let's say he goes to e4 what's going on there or maybe f4 i don't know which one is better so let's say to f4 for example we play d8 queen he takes on c6 Now queen to h4 check deserves attention because if he takes the knight with the king then queen h1 is a skewer. King f5 is not possible after that because of this knight d4 fork. <coughs> so um, what is left? King to e3 is the only move. Say we play queen to e1. d3 is not possible so he can go to f4. Do we have anything there? I think queen to d2 after that. Maybe we can play queen d2 immediately after knight f3, king f4, d8, queen takes c6, queen goes to d2, check. So he can't go to f5 and g4 because of forks. Uh, he can go to e4 and g3. If he goes to g3, we have queen h2 check and we win. Uh, if he goes to e4, what do we have there? Mm, not so clear, not so clear. There may be no win.
But it feels like anyway, uh, knight to f3 is the only move. Because if you play something like knight to g6, let's say. Then... He can simply go to e6 even... No, e6 is a bad idea because of d8 and then queen f6. So most likely he will go to e4, d8 queen, queen takes c6, but with the knight on g6 it's very hard to achieve anything, I guess. But I might be wrong, so knight g6, let's say king goes to e4, d8 queen, queen takes c6. Now, we just play something like queen h4 check. The king is on e4, our queen is on h4, the knight is on g6. If king goes to f3, there is queen h1. If king goes to f5, uh, there is queen f4, king goes to e6, and queen f6 wins. Um, after king f5, of course, we have knight to e7 fork as well. After queen h4 check, if king goes to d5, knight e7 fork. If king goes to d3, knight e5 fork. So king has to go to e3, I think. In this case, we play queen to e1 check. Now, f3 is not possible because of the skewer. d4, d3 is not possible because of knight e5. So d4 is the only move. So what can we do after that? Uh, queen d2, let's say. And he goes to c5. Okay, but after king d4, we can do also what? Queen to g1 is a very tricky check. King d5, fork on e7, king d4, skewer, king d3, fork on e5, king c4, fork on e5, king um, c3, just queen c1, skewer. So maybe knight g6 is a winning move, in fact. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Maybe even d8 right now. d8, queen takes c6. Knight goes to g6, where the king goes. f5 is not possible. Only e4 move is possible. In which case, we continue with this queen h4. And it feels like it wins for what? So d8, queen c6, knight g6. King f5, not possible. King e4 is the only move. King e6 leads to queen f6 and fork. All right, queen h4 check. King goes to d3, not possible. f3, not possible. d5, not possible. f5, not possible. So e3 is the only move. Queen goes to e1 after that. d3, not possible. f3, not possible. So f4, not possible. So d4 is the only move. And then queen to g1. If I'm not mistaken, white wins the queen after that. So let's try. I think d8 and knight g6 are equally good here. I think d8 is just straightforward, and yeah, just knight g6. Very nice, very nice. So queen goes to h4 now, if I'm not mistaken. Now queen goes to e1. <clears throat> and after king d4, it's important to control this c5 square, so queen goes to g1 now. And now we work. Yeah, very interesting one. Very interesting one, quite complicated, but very typical. So at very first glance, at very first glance, White should have tried knight to f3. <clears throat> I mean, after d7, uh, c1 queen, I thought knight to f3 is a solution, but it doesn't work. So after king f4, d8, and queen takes c6, I failed to find anything. So queen to uh, say h4 was my main line or something like queen to d2. Queen to d2 doesn't work because of queen f3. Uh, queen h4 is interesting because if king goes to f5, there is a fork from d4. Um, but um, the king doesn't have to go to f5. The king doesn't have to take the knight on f3 because of this queen h1. King goes simply to e3. And it's hard to find anything. So we can continue with queen e1. Now, same situation, so king d3 leads to fork, uh, king takes f3, queen to h1 decides, but king goes back to f4 and there is nothing, so I didn't find anything. That's why only this works, uh, our line that we found. So d7, d8, knight g6, now uh, this square is not possible to occupy, 
this square, if king goes to e6, there is queen f6 with the fork. So if king goes to d7, there is a fork from e5. If king goes to d5, there is a fork from e7. So it wins immediately. <clears throat> so after knight g6, the only move is uh, king to e4. Now queen to h4. And again, it uh, feels like the king has a lot of squares. In fact, there are so many different forks and skewers that the king has only one on e1. Because d5 uh, leads to fork, f5 as well, d3 as well, and f3 leads to skewer. Uh, so king e3 only move, now queen e1 once again, f3 skewer or fork on e5, uh, d3 the same, so king has to go to d4, and now after queen g1, uh, there is no chance to occupy this square c5. If king goes to c5, there is no chance for white to win, but after queen g1, there is no chance to occupy c5. Now this leads to skewer, d5 leads to fork from e7, uh, e5 is controlled. Um, d3 leads to fork knight goes to e5 c3 leads to skewer after queen c1 and c4 leads to knight to e5 so these squares are controlled by queen so we have to find a checkmate in that what our candidate moves are they are like b3 check uh, knight to a3 check knight to d6 check mikey this crime okay um so castling lawn king to d2 a lot of interesting candidate moves here so the king is almost checkmated let's start with something really obvious and simple like b3 check uh king has only one move it is b4 in this case, we have a choice between, say, bishop d2 follow-up and c3 follow-up. Let's start with bishop d2. This forces the king back to c5 square. In which case, we have, say, b4 follow-up. King goes to c4. Now we have knight to a3 follow-up. King goes to d4. And the king is still not checkmated. That's, that's a pity. <clears throat> but at least it is a force in line. So b3, king b4, what about c3? King takes b3, obviously the only move. Now, we can probably just play king to d2, you know. Uh, protecting c2 square and creating a sort of rook b1 check and rook b4 checkmate. The same as about rook b1 and knight to a3, it is also a checkmate threat. Right? So bishop takes e3, we take with the pawn. If a takes b5, we just play rook to b1, king c4, rook b4, king c5. Yeah, he has this c5 square after that. All right, <clears throat> so what else? What else? So the problem with the b3 and bishop d2 is that he has c5 square. So basically he has only three squares, c4, c5 and b4. And we have to do something with this. So let's check knight to a3 check. <laughs> knight to a3, king goes to b4. All right, that is way better because after bishop d2, king c5, b4. All right, he can play king d4 anyway. All right, so it's it's not obvious. So knight a3, king b4. What can we do there? c3 check. King goes to b3, where after it, it will be very hard for us to find a follow-up. So knight to a3, king goes to b4. Uh, bishop goes to d2, check. King goes to c5. b4, king goes to d4. So that is a key position. I mean, if we manage to checkmate the king there on d4, it will be nice. But I can't see a clear way of doing it. So what about knight d6 after all? Knight d6 check. C takes d6, let's say. Uh, bishop takes b6. No, it doesn't look very convincing either. I 
I'm most likely missing something really simple. So again, b3, king b4, c3. So far it was the most promising line. King takes b3. Now, maybe just rook b1 immediately. Then king goes to a2. I don't like it. So what about king e2 instead? This doesn't cover uh, c2 square. On the other hand, maybe we don't need it. So king e2, bishop takes e3, rook to b1, or maybe just king to d3, you know, with the idea of rook b1. That should be a checkmate, yeah. That should be a checkmate. All right, so we can do the following. So b3, king b4, c3, king takes b3, king d2. Now there is a threat of just playing rook b1, rook b4, checkmate. He can't take our knight. If he takes d5 pawn, we play rook b1, check, king c4, knight a3, checkmate, another one. Um, if he goes back to c4, we have knight to a3, check, king b3, rook to b1 with a checkmate. And finally, if he takes on e3, we just play king d3, and I can't see a defense against rook to b1. Yeah, this one is probably ours. Alright? Yeah. This one. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Rook takes a1. All right, so here we are having equal material because we're down the exchange, but we have two pawns. And this pawn on a6 is rather, rather um, dangerous. So I think we have great chances to win here. <clears throat> we can play bishop e3 check. Let's say king goes away. We play e7. The rook can't stop the pawn. Uh, but the rook can, can take on a3, attacking our bishop, and there will be a skewer. So, let's say e7, king b7, uh, sorry, bishop e3, king b7, e7, rook takes a3. Now, if you play e8, queen, there is rook e3, check, and takes the queen. Um, on the other hand, after rook a3, we can take, uh, we can play, sorry, something like bishop a7. Um, stopping the rook from playing to a8, still controlling e3, and creating sort of e8, queen. And let's say after king takes a7, we just play a e8. After rook a7, we play e8, and so on. So the rook has to go to a1 after that. So our bishop is on the a7. His king is on b7. Our pawn is on e7. Rook on a1. Now we play some like king f4, I guess. And then after rook f1, we play like bishop f2, rook f2, goes to e3, rook goes to f1, king e2, wins. Yeah, all right, so let's do it. Check, e7, creating this right over. Queen, now, bishop is heading, so we can't play e8 immediately, so first we play this move. Preventing rook a8, it is very important. Now there is again the threat of rook e1. So we play uh, king to f4, I guess. Rook f1, if our king goes to the e-file, there is rook e1. Uh, I mean, if king goes to e-file, he just takes the bishop, and there is the shred of rook e1. So we play bishop f2, as I said, and now king to e3, and the rook can't stop the pawn. So if rook goes to f1, then king e2 and promotes. Knight takes g2 is very tempting. Knight to h3 as well. Uh, knight to e2 check also deserves attention. Bishop e4 doesn't work. So knight to h3, g takes h3, uh, queen takes f3, queen takes f3, rook takes f3. Mm, there is not much, but black and chip. So knight takes g2, attacking the queen, queen takes d3. <clears throat> In which case we take on f3 with the rook, most likely. We kind of won the pawn and uh, we continue the attack. Knight comes back to f4 or maybe to h4. Knight to e2 check. Is it any better than anything else? I don't think so. King goes to f2, let's say, and white has everything protected. So knight takes g2 is kind of main line. King takes g2. Uh, queen to h3 doesn't work, unfortunately, because the king has a lot of empty squares. Knight g2, king g2, most likely, um, rook, 
no, bishop f1 immediately, king goes to f2, then queen goes to h3, most likely, and uh, if rook a2 or something, we have queen g2, king e1, and takes on f3 at very least. So at very least we have the extra pawn there. And let's take on g2. I don't think there is anything better than that. Here I also don't think there is something better than bishop f1 because rook f3, queen f3, bishop e4 doesn't work because of this rook. So rook is here to protect e4 pawn. So bishop f1, I think, is our move. Now queen to h3 also looks very natural follow up. Queen to e1, queen to g2. Um, no, after king to e1, there is even bishop to b5, yeah. So that is probably our move. A bishop b5 looks, looks very strong. Queen to f1. And just takes. Yeah, slot. b6, rook c6. Rook c6 looks tempting. King goes to b7, only move, and now it's very tempting to create a battery after queen e4. Is there a defense after that? So rook c6, king b7, queen e4. If queen a1 check, then rook c1 check and takes the queen. If queen e2 or knight f6 or something, uh, there should be something like rook b6, followed by queen c6, queen a6 checkmate. Yeah, I think that is the solution. Rook c6, king b7, queen e4. Let's check once again if we don't uh, miss anything. There is a sort of rook c7. There is also a sort of rook b6, king b6, queen c6, and queen a6 checkmate. It should be should be over. Oh, there is queen g2 checkmate. My god. I'm sorry for this stupid lines. There's queen g2 checkmate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was really focused on... Um, this nice idea but it doesn't work it doesn't work whatsoever so we have to come up with something forced 100 percent so rook c6 game b7 what do we have rook c7 rook b6 moves uh let's try rook c7 first it doesn't look that crazy um the king goes to b6 we have queen to e3 check as a follow-up uh, king goes to a5 uh, we just take on a7 and at least win a queen if uh, King takes on b5 after that, we have what? Uh, queen to d3 most likely. King goes to uh, a5 after that, we have uh, Queen to c3. King goes to b5 finally, Queen c6. King goes to a5, but there may be nothing. All right, Rook c6, King b7, maybe Rook b6. If, uh, let's say, a takes b6, we play queen e4 check. Uh, but king goes to a7, obviously, not to c6, c8. After that, we have queen c6 checkmate. No. That's not very cool. <sighs> so rook c6, king b7, rook c7, back to this line. Um, king to b6. Maybe rook b7 here, king b7, queen e4. Oh, this is what we are looking for. Rook c6, king b7, rook c7, king b6, rook b7. That is probably a solution. Uh, king b7, queen e4 wins by force. So two checkmates, king c8, queen c6, or king b6, queen c6, queen a6. So to rook b7, queen, king to a5 is the only move. And now we need a checkmate with the king on a5. Um, queen to e1 check, king goes to a4. Queen goes to e4 check. King goes to b3. Ah, we're almost there. Okay, let's take. I think it's anyway our best try. So, oh, he takes here. He doesn't even go to a5. All right, then queen e4 and checkmate. So what is about king a5? Let's have a look. I think that was the most test in defense. That was the most test in defense. So rook c6 here, rook b7, king c a5. I wanted to try. 
what is here so i thought queen e1 yeah queen e1 king to a4 now what oh now queen to d1 right oh queen b4 immediately. sorry just didn't see that but uh, fortunately i saw that line with queen c6 queen a6 all right crazy position crazy position so uh we are having what like uh, two minor pieces against the rook and a lot of tactical possibilities because the king is kind of limited so we can play a4 here bishop a6 is an interesting try knight takes d4 simply so a lot of interesting options let's have a look at all this thing so what's wrong with the a4 to start with A4, well, there are two options. King takes A4 and King to C6. There are no other moves. So King takes A4. Let's say I take on D4 with the knight. Or play knight to C5. Oh. Not that simple, so... A lot of lines to, to consider, a lot of lines to calculate. But okay, um, a4. First, if king doesn't take and goes to c6, let's say, is it anything for white? Knight to e5. King somewhere, we take on c4. Yeah, it should be winning. Okay, so it looks like after a4, the only move is king takes a4. Where after the king is really limited, so we have to find a checkmate in that or something like that. So our candidate moves there are knight to b6, knight to c5, both knights moreover. So let's say if we take <coughs> the knight d7 and it goes to c5. Rook c5, knight c5, king b5 doesn't look very good for white. It looks like a draw already. So what if we play knight d to c5, rook c5 and bishop d7 check? If knight to b5, the knight c5 checkmate. If rook b5, the knight c5 checkmate. If rook c6, <coughs> then simply, um, I guess knight takes d4 should be winning. Um, if knight to c6, that is a question. Uh, knight takes c5, king b5. Nice. That is interesting. So a4, king a4, knight d7 to c5. Um, two moves, king b5 and rook c5. So we are calculating rook takes c5. In which case, bishop to d7 looks like a natural follow-up. And looks like knight c6 is the only defense. Knight takes c5, just king b5. Protecting the knight on c6 and escape. That checkmate in that or something. Okay, a4, king a4, knight e to c5, for example. Rook takes c5. We don't even have the bishop d7 here. Uh, it doesn't look good. Alright, a4, king a4, what about knight takes d4? Controlling a lot, in fact. But rook takes d4, and I don't think we have a proper follow-up, because b5 square is free to occupy with the king. With bishop a6, then rook d2, it doesn't look good. Okay. So a4, king a4, what else? Knight to b6 was also a candidate move. King to b5. Uh, knight takes c4. Or king takes c4. Yeah, it's a draw. Okay. What else? Bishop a6 and the move number one. Don't think it's good. Just king a6. Knight takes d4 immediately. Check. Uh, yeah, if king a4, then might b6. So after knight d4, rook d4 is the only move. But it's just good enough, I think. So yeah, I guess a4 should be played. King takes a4. Now knight d to c5. If king b5, then just bishop a6 
and bishop takes c4 should be winning i think so rook c5 should be played bishop d7 and knight to c6 that is what black can do there in which case the move we didn't consider was knight to d4 so his rook is on c5 knight is on c6 our bishop is on d7 his king is on a4 so knight to d4 attacking the knight and control on c2 square so b3 check knight takes b3 rook c2 all right it's nothing okay not that easy not that simple maybe i'm missing something simple so a4 king takes a4 knight to b6 king to b5 no knight e to c5 instead of knight to b6 if king b5 then bishop a6 and takes on c4 so rook takes c5 and here knight takes c5 king gets to b5 no it's a dead draw of course mm. Maybe there is no win for white. I don't know. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. Okay, A4 should be played 100%. Now. We need also a tempo move. Or something similar to a tempo move. If we take on d4, rook takes d4, bishop a6, rook d2, I don't think white achieves anything there. And if white doesn't cover b5 square after knight d4, rook d4, there is nothing white can achieve. So we should focus on knight b6, knight c5, or other knight to c5. There is a spread of rook to c2. Everything is simple. So if we play knight e to c5, then both rook c5 knight c5 king b5 or king b5 immediately are possible i think rook c5 knight c5 king b5 just to draw immediately what we didn't consider was knight b6 king b5 bishop d7 but in this case king takes b6 so i think yeah knight this knight to c5 is the only move now bishop to d7 that is the follow-up because if we take if we play knight d4 he takes the bishop if we uh play knight c5 and king b5 again nothing so bishop d7 forcing knight to c6 that is what i was calculating and i didn't see a follow-up here oh that is so nice now i see that so knight takes c5 king b5 and knight to a4 goes in the tube swamp oh my god that is just brilliant that is just brilliant that is just fantastic Oh my goodness, this is really nice. This is the best puzzle of uh, this session, I guess.